Alright, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you my uh, freshman, sophomore design portfolio. Uh, most of this stuff on my website is I consider my freshman portfolio rather than sophomore because I'm a sophomore right now. Um, my work is like a mixture between uh, like illustration, photography, uh, video editing, UI, UX, and then just product design and advertising design. So it's kind of a, I try to mix in a lot of different uh, variations of design, including 3D. Uh, so getting into it, uh, the first project is called In Common. So this is pretty much a dating app where you match based on what you have in common. Um, this is like my first UI project I gave myself and first concept that I kind of came up with in like the app realm. So it's connecting based on interests. Uh, so whatever you have in common, there's an algorithm that would connect you guys together. And then the more you talk, the more you unlock about, the more photos you unlock about that person. So throughout the conversation, you'll see your battery bar going up the more you talk. So it's a dating app, uh, not based on looks, it's more based on your interests, so the more you talk about your interests, the more you see of that person. And so here's a kind of a little glimpse of different uh, templates. Kind of the messaging board. And that's it. So here you can see all different pages, like if you want to pay like tin, like uh, like Tinder Gold, it'd be like that for this app. Though, if you're impatient and you need to see what they look like for some reason, you can do that. Uh, my next one is pretty recent. It's called American Airlines Connect. It's a social media. Uh, it's a social media app. X American Airlines. So you log in with your AA account or you enter your trip details. So here's like kind of like the main image for the presentation, very minimal. Uh, new way to meet people, little concept, little graphic right here. Uh, the logo, I just took the American Airlines logo and just made it friendlier, made it more bubbly, um, transparent gradients, and also how it looks when it's not clicked on. Uh, colors, then type. I just wanted to go for like a more friendly vibe for the presentation. Now here's like the main menu. So your seat ticket kind of converted into a social media interface. So someone in your row you can swipe on and then uh, this I'll show you what that means later. A little drop down messaging for UX of like how you would experience your messaging. And here's the interface profile, the ticket, then when you swipe, here's your role, someone doesn't have an account, they won't show up. Here's the main menu, uh, red is that person does not have the account, slash the seat is taken, green, uh, that seat is open, so if you were to click on Emily, for example, you, uh, you can connect with her, but you can't sit next to her. So, you know, this guy right here, you could click here, and if you had business interests in common, you could connect with them. So it's more of a business rather than like a dating app, I would say. I would think some people would probably try to use it for that reason, but for the most part, it's trying to get business connections and the name American Airlines Connect. So it gives you a little background about the person trying to connect with you. Also, their other interests, their LinkedIn. You have to have LinkedIn to use the app, their Twitter, Instagram, whatever social media you have. Um, and then here's kind of like the messaging board. Uh, and then click on this then all that comes up that you can share share your seat and all. I have a prototype I still need to upload to the website. I'm just kind of lazy. Uh, here's Poor Habits Winery. This is, I don't know, you just want to drink by yourself kind of thing. Uh, so this is kind of like that project. So Poor Habits. A little advertisement right there. Here's a branding, um, different, the color combo and all. Uh, this is a 3D this is actually a 3D model, believe it or not. I, this is just cut out from 740D. Um, but a little wine template. 
uh, or wine menu. So if you went to the Poor Habits Winery, then this is the menu you would get. And then the back of it, if you're drunk, it's all blurry. I found it amusing. So here's what I made Cinema 4D. I got like this wooden grain texture from, from like Corona textures. This is using Chrono Renderer. Um, I think it came out pretty realistic. I added like a little stamp. Um, I thought it looked good. So this is just a mock-up of the Poor Habits Rosé with a saying on the back. So like you're drinking by yourself and then the wine has like the saying on the back. Unless it's share me, then that's kind of depressing because there's no one there. But you get the point. So that's red wine. Uh, here's white wine. Don't cry, please. Thought that was funny. Um, so here is... Uh, I wouldn't say this is like a full-on website, this is just kind of snippets that I designed. So it's non-functioning at all. Just kind of, just throwing my ideas out there of like what it could be is pretty much this project. I uh, Just showing people like, like this is a project that has very, a lot of different design elements mixed into it. Like there's 3D, then there's branding, then there's website, uh, product, all that. So this is kind of like that project, uh, very minimal, super minimal, um, just straight to the point I would say. So that's that project, I wouldn't say that's too interesting. Um, coming up next, yeah, this Apple AirPods project, <clears throat> this is probably my favorite project I've done, uh, just because this was the most challenging for me. So what this is, is Apple AirPods edi Artist Edition is, uh, so all this is modeled in Cinema 4D. It's, uh, so let me go into here. So it's pretty much when Air, this was when AirPods came out, I made this. And now you see all like the AirPods skins and stuff or whatever. But this was like Apple X Artists, Artist Series. And so uh, this is all modeled in Cinema 4D. I took images from 1UP, um, 3D, and him. Um, very famous artist, he just did the, this is from the Dior, or this one isn't from, but he just did the whole Dior, uh, like, futuristic collection. I just can't pronounce his name. Um, but super sick artist, very talented, that's all using I believe color, I want to say color pencil or paint. Um, but yeah, so it's Apple X these artists. We'll add right there. And then here's a different uh, angle for the renders. Um, yeah, I thought it just came out very clean. More close up. So this was my original idea, was just to have it like this. And I thought that looked really bad. Although I did like this for cause. Um, and having the artists up there. I just didn't think it was, like it seemed like everyone could do it kind of thing, like not be like an asshole, but it just seemed like it's very easy to do, it's very easy to make this. Like it's a good concept and it wasn't out then, but I just wanted to take it a step further. And so this is kind of like showing off uh, my 3D skills instead of just, you know, it's Photoshop. I could just trace, like it's very simple to do. And I just didn't like it. Next project is called uh, Cannawell. It's a cannabis and wellness app. Uh, so wellness plus cannabis and no subscription, I think. So this project is based around, um, so like Headspace and you see all like these other meditation apps that require you to pay monthly. I think that's bullshit. You shouldn't have to pay monthly to better yourself. Um, so instead what this app, what this concept I came up with was is it's an app uh, helping creators that are helping you. So when you uh, want to do meditation, it'll give you a list of YouTubers, YouTube videos um, based on that kind of meditation you want to do, whether that's like uh, uh, getting rid of anxiety, depression, uh, trying to find more energy. So it'd be free. And so here's the color type. Uh, package design for the cannabis, I want to go really modern, kind of fun. Um, I, like, I really like how it came out. I think the spacing worked out. I had some input on that, and I think that really helped. Uh, 
do that. I yeah, I forgot that. Um, and here's like pre rolls. This is a pretty big presentation, so it takes. Sometimes it doesn't fully look. Okay, here we go. So it loaded. Um, yeah, so juices, CBD infused juice. I didn't see that a while ago, and now it's very big. Um, and then here's the UI design. Very simple, kind of like welcoming. Uh, just stuck with three main colors: really white, black, and this really nice green I randomly found. Um, yeah, so here's the juices. I think this could be designed better, um, looking at it now. But this, I, I think this is very, I think I did a good job on this part. Um, that, not so much. Uh, but very straightforward, very welcoming. Here's like the yoga section, it's very minimal. A lot of my app design is minimal. I just think, and that's what consumers want now. Um, inner piece strength. So if you click on one of these, it would bring you to a whole list of YouTube videos. This is like yoga by Adrian, and then some other yoga person. Uh, so it bring you to those videos, and then you could just watch them there. You don't have to pay or any of that. And so then here is like if you were looking at the cannabis, kind of the effects, your car, kind of like an Uber-like um, way to see your delivery, and then the end. Um, and then here's a little clip. So this is kind of just showing off all the different uh, ways this app works. So you click on meditation, there's a bunch of different uh, types there. You have your yoga, whatever you want to click on there. And I thought it was intuitive just to do like you click on yoga and it brings you back instead of having to go all the way back. And then you got your juices here. And then finally you got cannabis. And so this is kind of showing more to it. So this is like the prototype part aspect of the uh, UI UX design. So this is more showing the UX of how the user experiences this product. I got like this little 3D so you can see the uh, that look great there. The amount. And then you can slide it. It chooses the ounces. And you got your juice. And then boom, it's there. Um, I actually haven't watched that in a while. I really like that. So, uh, I'm going to go through this project really quickly. Alright, so this is uh, Team CJ Works project. A full rebrand. The logo I designed. I designed it using Procreate, then I brought it to Illustrator and did it there. Full website. This is the navigation controller, so you would move that there, move it up, and take it apart. So you move that up, takes you to merch. A uh, little coffee table book, the Miro blueprints with their logo, uh, merchandise, and business cards. Alright, actually, this. There's a lot of projects I really do like. This is definitely up there with the top three. So this is called the Tinder Motel. It's uh, like an MTV based show. All modeled in Cinema 4D, textured using Corona Render. It was a pain. The building, this building wasn't hard to do. This wasn't hard. The texturing, I think in 3D work is very painful. So this is all 3D rendered. Uh, kind of just like X on a beach or like those MTV shows where you're given a house and you all live there. So this is that. Uh, I want, again, minimal kind of like beach, like film vibes, I'd say. Meet your match, a Tinder pool, start swiping, and a little advertisement right there. This video might be long, I don't know. Um, I'll go through. This is just a texturing experiment so people can see. I really like texturing in my work, as you'll see in my illustrations. But this is just like an art basil concept, ceramics, mountain colors, uh, different advertisements. Really like that. Really like the texture, scratches. That's just kind of my style. Um, I really like raw, unfiltered textures. Uh, raspberry vodka in a can, so like you take off the cap and you can drink it. Um, yeah, I thought this design was really cool. This is this is really textured. I wouldn't 
suggest this. Um, but then this is like the back, so it's like the spray can look for the ingredients. Um, I thought that came out well. I'll do. Uh, I'll skip some of these. This is this will be like the last UI project. This Fader Four at South by Southwest concept. It's a twenty-one up event right now, so this was like kind of showing it. One, one way you could do the 18 and up, so you have your black wristband for 21, red wristband for 18, straightforward, different uh, UI. Um, very simple, I wanted it to be very simple. I don't like this anymore, there's something I hear I want to change, I'm going to redo it and then re-upload it. This I made like six months ago, I think. Uh, more design. And then merchandise, and then that's it. And now I'll just go into. Uh, I'll come back to that one. I'll go into graphics right now. These are some are for client, and then some are just on my own. So we'll just go through. This is just texturing, 3D modeling, Cinema 4D, and then textured in Photoshop, 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 Photoshop. Um, here's some other. This is poster design, more poster design, add design, add design, type, more typography. And if there's anything you see here that you want me to do a tutorial on, I'd be more than happy to. Uh, graffiti, some different logos, 3D, um, album cover art, 3D work. Uh, this, this was a fun project. This is, I made a year ago for a class. It was like making a toy that can't be produced, so I did Smarty Smoke and Merch Nordum. Um, so I made the little cigarette decals, cigarette box decals. That was a fun project. Um, so that's all the graphics. And then we'll go into illustration for the last bit, because I don't want this to be that long. Just want to show you some of my work um, so you guys know what my kind of my style is in design. Here's an illustration. A lot of these are just really out there. Kind of like sliced up face, a lot of pointillism. These are very old. Uh, like that one. Different kind of logos. How to make Goyard bands is kind of like Bandy the Pink. Um, kind of like a joke. Or how I would make them. And some more type. Uh, this is like a Porsche Porsche lettering within the Porsche logo. And then this one was like the Tesla lettering as the Tesla logo. Some more. Some more illustration. Illustration I don't think I can really teach. I don't, well I don't know how to teach it, to be honest. Um, this is a fun little poster idea, kind of see. This is kind of like sick forever, kind of written in the head futuristic kind of look, more graffiti, very modern, um, kind of modern meets graffiti, little politics in that one, Some more, I really like that one, I really like these, those were just showing like companies, like I could do like the modern look, it's not my favorite, but it's just kind of showing like, oh yeah, I could do that, um, and then here, here's my favorite, this is going to be the start of my favorite illustration, like this is my illustration style right now very textured, um, raw. I started using more color. I don't really use color, but now I'm a big fan of using it. And very textured as well. I really like this one. Not that one. That one I like. This one I like a lot. I think it came out very cool. And I uploaded twice. Do you have any questions of how I did some of these projects. I can make a tutorial on that. Um, but yeah, I have some other projects in the works right now. There's a lot of projects that are not on my website at the moment that still need some fine tweaking. But overall, that's uh, my portfolio as it is right now. A lot of designers, like if you look at a lot of creative directors, um, what I noticed going into job searches is I click on the creative director, go to his website, and there would be four pieces of work on the website, but they'd be his top four projects that he's worked on. 
And so mine's kind of, I have a lot of different things on my website, but I feel like also being a college student, you want to have a lot of your work being shown so you can show like the diversity of what you're able to do. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Yeah.